Wow, those cows look happy. You know what they say? Happy cows make happy milk. Well, more milk, I guess. Wow. So um, we're going to add an adjustment to this model. So I'm just going to go through what's one of my thoughts about making an adjustment. This is to do with task four. Did you have the question sheet up before? So we're going to make a model. So I will just go and pause our friend. We'll back to him later. We're going to make an adjustment to the model. So to model the effects of the farmer playing his trombone, okay, as seen in the video, I need to make a few, a few assumptions. So, cows look very happy, they're going to increase their milk. May. So I'm looking at these sentences here. This is an assumption. This is something you will have to make up. I'll discuss a bit later what sort of things you could use for a model. So after Mr. T plays for the cows, it slowly goes up to uh, extra five litres per week. But then it declines to a mere one litre per week. So that's, a sen that's my assumption. This is what I have made up. Okay. Right now we need to model this. So it's going to go, so it slowly rises to a top and then drops down. So between four and five, well I think the average is three. So I've got this sentence here talking about the average being three. All right, fair enough. And I'm going to go up to five. So three plus two gives me five. So this is give me two of my letters. Okay, so I've got my average of three, so I'm going to see if I can bring up this graph. So this is the graph that you were just looking at, not quite sure where the equations are, yep. So here's my average of three. To make it go up, there's my average, three. To make it go up and down, I'm going to add two. So three plus two is the five, and three take two goes from three litres to one litre. So even on the, when the cows are getting a little bit bored, waiting for him to come back, we have got uh, some improvement. So the critical deal, I guess, are to do with these numbers here. What is going to be the B term and the C term? Back to the maths. Okay, so this is really to do with how wide is this graph or how often does he return? Okay, so we've got some other suggestions there. So where did I come up with this number? Okay, so continue on. So now we're looking at the timing. So the first information was able to give me the A and the D. So I'm now looking at the B, so the timing. So I've got this sentence here, and this is the critical assumption sentence. I might put them in red in a minute. So I'll plunk that up so we can all read it. So the managed to, farmer managed to play each week. Now on my scale with 12 months, letters 1 to t numbers 1 to 12 for the 12 months week is approximately 0.25. So how do we work at this? If, if this is about a week or 0.25 we're going to use our typical formula which we keep coming back to. Here it is here. So B equals 2 pi divided by the period. B equals 2 pi over all right, 0.25. Just works out that that is 8, 8, 8 pi. Not 8 pi, 8 pi. Yes, 8 pi. Oh, undo. Okay, and that will form this graph. So back to Desmos. So that's what's going on here with this graph. So made this 8 pi, and that was able to make this stop and go. Notice I have got a big close-up of the little graph, the little adjustment that I'm making. Okay. Now to get the last number, I've actually put a slider in and then I've just moved the slider around until I get, you know, what sort of I like. So I've already put a maximum there, so now I have to sort of, yeah. So I've got here, so I've got it so it's sort of, the he, they're quite happy, then he starts, he plays at the start of the week and then it starts to go back up and then they're looking forward to it. So it's time for another trombone. Okay, now I'll put these dots on as before, as the average line as before. 
So that's a picture of the model. I can take a picture of that, put that on my worksheet and discuss that. Just to see, show you briefly the next bit. Okay, uh, if you look down here, I have a model of the actual graph. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make yet another letter. I don't know what letter's left. M. X equals my first model, P of X, plus my new model called N of X, I believe it's called. No, we don't want that, we just want a normal X. And we'll just make sure that N and this N are the same size. Okay, now to see what the difference is here, I'm going to need to zoom out. So let's turn off my little model. We we'll see the little model down the bottom. Okay, turn that off, so it's a bit confusing. Okay, so here is my normal model for the year. X is 12. Okay, put that away. Okay, it's so my normal model for the year. That's the model that you've, similar to what you've done. My numbers are different, of course. Okay, eight and 10. Now let's have a look at what the effect of my variation is. So overall, the effect of my variation is to have a better average on top. Now we discussed about the reason for that. It's mainly because the cows are so happy. Happy enough, then we'll listen to this for a little bit. Right, I'm going to stop it there at this point. We might add a little bit more, but uh, very briefly, we have some other things that might come in. Maybe we're going to get feed supplement each week, moving the cows to fortnight, you pass each fortnight. Okay, an automatic milking machine makes the cows milk themselves by increased production by 10% for the year. How does that work itself? So we'll just pause for now. Maybe we'll get back to this. Maybe not.